Watcher, welcome to Essential Handy Man. Hope everyone's doing well. Today I've got a quick video on how to fix your gas hob if the igniter, that little spark that ignites the flame, the gas flame, keeps igniting. I've got a problem with my NEF hob. Let me show you what the problem is. Okay, this is my gas hob. It is um, obviously gas comes out of the burners. It's my, I don't know what model number it is, but it's NEF. Now, I've got it turned off at the wall, but if I turn it on at the wall, you can probably hear that. I won't be able to see the spark constantly going. Right. Never mess around with electric. Don't ever touch this when the spark's going like that, because you'll get a shock. If I take, turn the electric off, take that off, and put it back on. You should better see that. I'll turn the light off. Yeah, a little bit easier. The spark just keeps happening and happening. Back outside where it's a bit cooler. So there's two reasons why that happens. First reason is that there's either moisture around or in the ignited area. Around that area where the, where the, uh, the spark comes out, it's either moisture or it's full up with crud. You know, it's got uh, grease in there, something. Something's happening to conduct the electricity. So let me show you the two ways, that, the two things you can do to get rid of that. Now, if you've got a gas hob, the easiest way to get rid of this, to check whether it's moisture, is to turn it on. Obviously you'll get this annoying sound when you put your, push your gas on. Put your igniters on. Ah, and I may have solved the problem. First of all, if it's moisture in there, the easiest way to get rid of moisture is to dry it out. And there's no easier way of drying it out than using the gas burners. If this was still clicking, the one thing you can do, because the gas is already lit, you can turn this off at the wall and just run your gas burners. Um, be careful of what's above on your hob, because obviously you haven't got pans on there. This is going to get toasty and it could, you know, start um, being a bit too hot for your hob. But I would just leave this running for a minute or two. Right, run this for two or three minutes now. Let's turn this off and see what's what. Okay, now that, if there was moisture in there causing it, when I turn this back on, should have stopped clicking. Look at that. God, I'm good, aren't I? Let me show you the second reason. If this was still clicking, and I'll show you what you should do to the second thing you can do to make this work. I'll come back to this in 10 minutes, because these are going to be too hot to touch. Right, it's cooled down now. So the second thing I don't need to remind you, every time you touch the electricity, have it turned off. You must get it off. Okay, so this is the cover for the gas. This is the diffuser. Underneath there, this is the igniter. And this I haven't got a clue what it is. Not got a clue. Let me bring you in closer. Now one way you can clean this off is by using a cotton wool bud. And um, the best thing to use is it actually ethanol or rubbing alcohol. Um, sort of surgical spirits, something like that. I don't have any of that, but the methylated spirits, what some places call denatured alcohol, is really good for getting grease and things off. So I will use that instead. So I will just soak my cotton wool bud. I think they call this in other places of the world Q-tip. We call these cotton wool buds. And then going over to the um, electrical bit there. Remember it's off. I'll just rub this on there. Getting any grease or dirt or anything off with your cotton wool bud. Try and get onto this contact that it goes onto as well. See, this is a little bit too narrow, that space. In order to get good contact, go to the top. Just all around here, rub your meths or your ethanol or um, surgical spirit, something like that, on there, clean it up. Another thing you can use to get in there is to use sandpaper. Now, this, this is the type of sandpaper you get with a lathe. I use this with my 
um, drill press. So what I would do is I'll just cut a section off. It's very, very fine, incredibly fine. And then get that in there. And you get all the, the nasty stuff off. You need to get the grease off. You need to try and get anything that's in there creating an issue that's going to stop the contact from releasing. If you look how dark that was before we started, that's positively gleaming compared to what it was. Reset this all back together again. The, thing, the great thing about methylated spirit is it almost insta dries and it dries so quickly. So there shouldn't be any moisture left behind. Fingers crossed when I turn this on, it's not going to go kick, 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 kick. <sighs> Don't even notice behind me. Got a few Union Jacks. Got a few St George's, got some bunting up there as well as the main flag for the uh, show your patriotism challenge that Cut to put out. Hope you enjoyed today's video. You never know, you know, you're sitting there, your kids are hungry, you want some food, you got to turn the oven on. So annoying. So um, now you know how to fix it. Hopefully it will save you an inconvenience, save you some money along the line, and you know, just make you a little bit more productive. Nowadays, there's hardly any kids out there, and I'm not of adults that don't know how to do diddly squat. So don't be one of those people. Get productive, learn how to do things, be a productive person. See ya.